This project is called a stop link. The unit of measure is in inches. These will be measured in decimals with a precision of two places to the right of the decimal point. And the area that I need for drawing in my limits will be set to 22 by 17. In studying the drawing I can see that the width is 8.75 and the height is 6. That all of the lines around the outside are either vertical or horizontal which lends itself to using direct distance entry with ortho turned on. I also have rounded corners. A typical corner is has a radius of 0.75 so all four of them would be at that radius. I can use my fillet command to provide the radius on the corners. We have two holes that are located and I can use tracking to locate those whole centers. I'm going to start a new drawing and you could use the ACAD.DWT uh, default template or I'm going to use a simple template title block A which you can download below if you would choose to use this template. We'll go to model space and before I start drawing I want to check my drawing aids so I'm going to go to my object snap right click and go to my settings here I can see that endpoint midpoint and intersection is turned on as well as my object snap is on and my object snap tracking which I will need so that looks good I want to also turn ortho on to assist me in drawing horizontal and vertical lines. Next I want to check the drawing limits. I'm going to enter limits directly from the keyboard. For the command is limits. And I can see that the lower left corner is 0, 0. That's where I find my WCS icon. And I'll hit enter to look at the upper right corner and I want to set my drawing area to 22 comma 17 and I'll hit enter. I've now reset my upper limits. To zoom my drawing area to those limits I now need to zoom all. I'm going to use the keyboard command Z for zoom and A for all. Now putting my cursor up here in the upper right corner I should be able to see that I'm pretty close to 22 by 17. Enough room for drawing my object. I'm going to start drawing my object using a line command. I'm going to click in the lower left corner and start my first line. The bottom edge of my object is 8.75. and I'll enter that from the keyboard. I'm going to zoom and pan so I can see a little bit better and now my vertical line on my right edge goes up 4.5 goes to the left 1.75 and goes up 1.5 across the top it's 1.75 goes down 3 and across the bottom here 1.75 again. Now the height of this line is the same as this one so I'm going to use object snap tracking I find my endpoint and as I move away you can see the tracking line and it shows me the intersection of my current line I'm drawing so I just click the mouse and set that height. Across this top edge it's 1.75 and then it goes down and matches this same distance here so again I'll hesitate and as I come across you can see that my object snap tracking come into place with intersection marked again the length of this line should be the same as the bottom hesitate for a moment and I should see my tracking show up 
There it shows me my intersection. Click the mouse. And now I can come back here and snap to this endpoint. Hit enter to end the line. Next we're going to add the holes. I can see that this hole has a diameter of 1.5 and is located from this lower right corner up to and to the left 1.75. This smaller hole which has a diameter of 0.75 is located from the opposite corner up 1.25 and over 1.5. I can use tracking to help me locate those whole centers. So I'm going to start a circle command and I'm going to invoke tracking. I'm just going to say TK from the keyboard and I'm going to snap to this lower left corner. Now I'm pulling a line vertical and I know my distance is 2 and then I'm going to pull a horizontal line to the left and my distance is 1.75. This is the point where I want to start my circle so I'll hit enter again to start the circle command. This has a diameter of 1.5 so I'm just going to enter D from the keyboard and hit enter and 1.5 for my diameter. For my other circle, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to get a circle command, hit TK from the keyboard to start tracking, snap to this corner. I'm going to go vertical 1.25 and track horizontally 1.5. Here's where I want to start my circle. I'll hit enter again, and in this case, my diameter enter D for diameter and set it at 0.75. Next we're going to round these corners using our fillet command and we need to set it for a radius of 0.75. For my modify menu I'll start my fillet command. I need to first set the radius so I'm going to right click the mouse and I'm going to set the radius at 0.75. and we're going to fill it this first corner. Now in order to fill it the next one I would have to hit enter on the keyboard but this time I'm going to right click and say multiple. This will allow me to keep using my fillet command without having to stop and reset the command. Hit enter to end. And now we've rounded off the corners and we've finished the basic object.